a good battle for a while. Thought uh, guys worked at it. Uh, you know, stayed within reach. Obviously, uh, uh, you know, a little slow start the second half. Then regrouped and uh, got back into it a little bit. And then again, just uh, not enough uh, down the stretch. Thought Iowa State did what they needed to do to, to make it tough on us to score, and, uh, and uh, we didn't make enough plays to win uh, win those battles. But uh, Iowa State's good. They uh, played well, and we didn't make enough good plays. Well, I mean, the, pre, the biggest difference was definitely you know, the way I woke up. I just realized that I only have a, a few number of, of guaranteed games left. So I just wanted to make sure I have no regret uh, whether we finish in the next six games or five games now or we finish in April. I just want to make sure I have no regrets of uh, leaving Iowa State. So I'm just going to leave it all out there from now on for sure and uh, just try to help lead this team as far as possible. Oh, uh, yeah, especially, uh, you know, me personally, just being able to play uh, the same way for the whole game is always something important for me and, and for the team. You know, we've always got to get out to a good start. And uh, in the second half, we just play like how we usually play, so that's why we were able to come back. I was turning in my uh, subdivision uh, after shoot-around. And, I, you know, usually the, the guys don't text me in the afternoon after shoot-around. And I was turning in, and, you know, I looked down at my phone, and I was like, Mariel Shayok. And I said, <laughs> usually his dad will text me, so I thought maybe it was his dad. And, you know, he just sent a nice little paragraph about, you know, his his his, his thoughts going down the stretch. And, uh, you know, so I thought he'd be ready to go tonight. He just needed to win. I mean, I mean, the reality of it is we lost two home games, and so that's magnified. I mean, you know, we're 28, we're 9-6, and six, um, you know, which isn't bad. But we lost two home games, and so if you flip that, you know, it's a whole different scenario, and you're writing a whole other scenario. You know, we just we hadn't played well this last two weeks, but everybody goes through that. I mean, Texas Tech, as good as they're playing right now, they're shooting the ball so well right now. Um, I mean, they've had they had back-to-back -back games like 14 threes, 16 threes, but they went through a stretch where they lost to us, Baylor, and Kansas State all in a row. Uh, this this legal home, like I said after the TCU home game, the legal home view. Um, we hadn't played well. For whatever reason, rebounding wise, missing shots, um, we just got to fix it. And only fix it as you work. You get better. You play the next game. And so it was good just to get back out of here and play. You know, we got up six or eight in the first half. Couldn't really extend it. Uh, and in the second half, we came out ready to go. And and then we started making shots. Tyrese finally started going. And you know, we made eight threes, eight for fourteen in the second half. But I thought the ball moved a lot better. Uh, we know who we are from a standpoint of them. We're locked in and dialed in. You know, we, we, we have a chance to beat a lot of people. We really do. Um, but when we're not, and when we, if we cut corners, we don't share the ball, or we, we're more soft on defense, you know, we're, we're average. But that's for everybody. That's all the teams are going to be like that. Um, so we just got to get back to work this week. And we got two games on, a, on the road and a tough home game to finish. And we just got to get better as we go into postseason. But, um, but it's good to win. We needed to win. Yeah, I think um, you know we're all going to say stuff in in, in in the moment, but I mean these guys got. You know, I've got great pride in, in my job. I got great pride in, in, in the program I represent, and the players, and the former players, and what this place means. I mean, I can rattle it all off to you. Um, so yeah, it bothers you. Um, I don't think at all we're embarrassing this program for a second, not one second. Um, I think we're doing a lot of really, really good things. And sometimes when you play a couple bad home games, everybody wants to write the negative. And that's why you got to block out the outside noise. You got to stay true to who you are. And and I tell these guys a lot of time, it's, you know, we, your basketball character and your character has got to show up in the biggest moments. And this was a character game tonight. We responded. Um, but yeah, we want to play better at home. This place has a, has a history of being special. And you never want to, you never want to let people down. Not if not if you not if it means something to you and so, but I don't think we're embarrassing anybody. I mean, you know, maybe ten percent of the people, but the other ninety percent, I don't think so.